Hello guys and gals and welcome to Enjoy Life Music where we talk about all things music related in Japan and Korea and occasionally just Asia in general. And today I have a music review for you. Today we will be talking about Chan Mina's Bijin. If you saw my previous video talking about the Japanese music roundup, then you already know that I gave a brief shout out to the song and you already know how I feel about the song to a degree. But I wanted to explore more of my feelings on this song. Why am I talking so slow and elegantly? Anyway, let's dive on in. Chamina's Beijing was released last Friday, so that would be March 19th. I actually came across the song very randomly. To be honest, I never heard of Chan Mina until then, and I gotta say, I was impressed with the music video. After hearing the song, I did a little bit of research on her and listened to the rest of her previous albums, and huh, not bad. But this video is talking about BG, so let's focus on that, shall we? Chan Mina has a very interesting style when it comes to her music. She has hip-hop and rap and a little bit of pop influence in all of her music. In this case, Beijing is more hip-hop influenced. Maybe a hint of pop and some rap as well, obviously. If, well, if you heard the song at least. So first let's talk about the melodies. So the way I want to approach this is from a western perspective and an eastern perspective. So let's start with the western. If we were looking at this from a western perspective, this song, in terms of the melody, is very generic. It doesn't do anything that really stands out among other Western hip-hop or rap songs. However, if you look at it from an Eastern perspective, specifically Japanese perspective, then I would say yeah, it's pretty unique, considering most of Japanese songs are about love and kira kira and and things that just don't really matter so it's kind of hard for me to just choose one side considering i am american obviously but i've also lived in japan for a very long time and i've grown up influenced by japanese culture um, since i was a child so I'm looking at it both ways. So the thing that makes this song so great isn't the melody, it's actually the lyrics. The song is actually talking about beauty. So what is considered beauty? For example, Chang Mina has a part in the song where she's saying something along the lines of, this isn't how I'm supposed to look, Da Vinci. Make me look prettier. Um, and add some contrast there and blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I want to show the world how beautiful I am. And at first you're thinking, okay, well, this person wants to show how beautiful she is. And then she makes it a bit more personal. There's one part of the song where she goes on to say, Chan Mina is looking beautiful lately. But before they were going on about how she was ugly and just gross to look at. And because of all of this negativity and this pressure to look beautiful, she goes on talking about how she's become insane. <laughs> However, while she was receiving all this negative feedback, this actually fueled her to become even better at singing. The hate made her stronger. And basically throughout the song, it's just self-empowerment. So she goes on saying she's a diamond and how she's beautiful. Even if she has scars, she's still beautiful. She's a strong woman. So that's basically the lyrics of the song. Now, another thing that adds on to this is the music video. Usually I don't talk about music videos because I'm more focused on the song, but in some cases a music video can actually enhance the power of a song, and in this case it definitely does the job very well. The setting of this music video takes place in old Japan. If I'm being honest, I'm not sure what era. I was going to say Edo Jidai, but Edo Jidai is a little too early. It's kind of funny seeing an older traditional version of Japan while someone is rapping and throwing heavy beats, but at the same time it's really surreal and kind of creepy because there are some parts where she's talking about herself being ugly and it switches to this 
less attractive version of her. So, you know, maybe a bit fatter and, you know, just not the ideal image of beautiful, of beauty. So there is one part of the song where they just completely stop singing. It's a short scene, but very effective. So it shows Chan Mina sitting down, looking in the mirror, and then I guess like her assistant approaches her and he goes on saying, Oh Jo Saman, you're looking so beautiful uh, and these are the rules in being beautiful. You must have a tall nose, um, your skin must be perfect, um, you must have a great body and those type of things. So while he's saying this, Chan Mina is looking in the mirror and she sees a scar in her face. But she doesn't panic, she just looks at it and just, that's all there is. She just looks at it, she's very calm about it. Until she has a flashback of her former self, I suppose, where it shows her being fat and unattractive. Um, it's then at this point, the assistant walks up to her and notices the scar and says, Oh my gosh! What happened? Oh, what has happened? This is terrible. I can't believe it. And then Chan Mina, she just gets up and walks away. And while she walks away, the assistant says, what is beauty? And then the song continues. Um, you know, look at this. Look at this. However, the ending is very, very dark. Um, I'm not quite sure how to interpret this, if I'm being honest. So she is in a dark room and there is a rope. She walks up to the rope, she ties it around her neck, and she kills herself. By her committing suicide, does that mean that she gave up? On society and just accepted her fate because she couldn't keep up with the beauty she was driven to insanity and she just said screw it I can't keep up with this anymore I'd rather die or or is she owning up to who she is and the person who's committing suicide is her idea of what it is to be beautiful it really makes you think and that's why I love the music video it enhances the song, but it also leaves you with a lot of questions. There's room for lots of interpretation, and that's why I really love this song. So yeah, I think I'm going to give this song a 4 out of 5. Um, like I said before, melody generic, lyrics amazing, music video. Mwah. So yeah, that is my review for Chan Mina no Bijin. And if you liked the video, be sure to obliterate the like button. And if you loved it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you'll be notified for any future videos that I make because I do upload every week. And let's have a discussion about this song. I really want to know what your interpretation of this song is because I'm sure everybody has their own thoughts on this. And this was, this was really fun. I really like this song. I've been listening to it over and over and over in the car, working out, at work. <laughs> I like it. Oh, and also be sure to follow me on Twitter because I do post there occasionally. And as always, guys and gals, enjoy life, enjoy music, peace.